Hi there, Stuart McMillan here. With this video, I'm gonna tell you my top three favorite books that I've read within the last two years. I highly recommend all these books to you, but let's just get straight into the list now. Number three on this list is The Truth by Neil Strauss. Now, you might know Neil Strauss from his previous book that he released called The Game. And that was a book, uh, an autobiographical story about how he actually transformed himself from a socially awkward, nerdy guy into a massive pickup artist who could seduce almost any woman that he wanted. And this book, The Truth, is set 10 years after the game, and he realized that um, he had essentially become a sex addict because he'd just been so habitually doing all of these exercises to try and chat up women that women to him had just become sort of a video game that he was compelled to play. And he realized that this compulsive attitude and compulsive behavior was just really ruining his life. So. This book begins with Neil checking himself into a sex addict rehab center and just a whole series of events that unfold from that point in time onwards. Um, I really like this book because of how clearly written it is. You get a really clear sense of all the characters that he's interacting with, all the situations that he's in, whether it's the sex rehab center, whether it's the polyamorous share house that he, he sets up for himself. Um, and you get a really clear sense of what is going on in Neil's mind at any point in time. Of all the books that I'm going to discuss here, this is the biggest page turner. It's 400 pages, but when I was reading this, it was about 12 months ago, I'd be here in the office, but I'd just be so keen to just stop work at three o'clock and just go home so that I could read more of this book. So I really recommend The Truth by Neil Strauss. That was number three. The second favorite book that I read within the last 12 months is This One Summer by Gillian Tamaki and Mariko Tamaki. Now this is my favorite comic or graphic novel that I read within the last 12 months. And this is a story about a girl named Rose who goes on summer holiday with her parents. And this book is all about what it's like to be a kid on summer holidays. The artwork is great. It just does a really good job of making you think like you are a kid on summer holidays and really drawing upon your own memories of the sights and sounds and smells that uh, happen when you're a kid on summer holiday. That's my really short review of this book, but if you want to learn a little more about this book, check out my YouTube video, Top 10 Essential Graphic Novels, where I uh, discuss a little more and give you some more looks at the artwork of This One Summer by Canadian cousins, Gillian Tamaki and Mariko Tamaki. So those were numbers three and two on this list. Now it's time to tell you my favorite book that I read in the last two years, and that is The Course of Love by Alain de Baton. So this is a book which is a, a fictional story about a young couple that falls in love, um, but Alain has actually written this book as a test case scenario for us to think about what it's like for us to be in a relationship with someone else. So he takes us through all of the early stages of the relationship where they they're initially attracted to each other they they hook up they uh, you know decide to be a couple but Alain de Baton the reason he wrote this book is he thinks that so often we see these Hollywood uh, depictions of a love story and they just focus entirely on the early stages of a relationship what he tried to do with the course of love is actually show us that that is the easy part of the relationship the difficult part is what happens when you decide to stay with each other for a longer period of time. So, you know, he takes us through everything here. The way that the story is written, um, we see that uh, it, it's mostly the story of this fictional couple, but every now and then we get to these italicized sections and the italics are Alain de Baton's commentary as to what is going on with the couple at this stage in their relationship. So, you know, we, we see what happens when you, you, you get out of that infatuation stage where you think that just everything about this person is wonderful, what happens when you're in the stage where you realize that there are some things about this other person that actually really annoy you from time to time? Uh, what happens when you have your first argument and um, if, if you don't handle that in the right way, it might be there's a whole avenue of conversation that's just blocked off from ever being discussed again. So those are some of the tricky things. He even gets into what happens when you move in with each other, when you get married, if you have kids together, if you've ever been in a relationship or if you're in one right now, then this is a book that will uh, really remind you of some of your own experiences and hopefully allow you to reflect on the way that uh, you behave and that the other person that you're with behaves. 
And in fact, I think that when my friends get married in the future, I don't think I'll give them a, a wedding present on the day of their actual ceremony. I think what I'll do is I'll wait 12 months and then give them two copies of this book to read as a couple at the same time on their one year anniversary because you know that is the stage where things do start to get tough but that's also the stage where a book like The Course of Love can come in handy so I highly recommend this book and I think a, a reason why I why this book speaks to me so much is well I mean you know lately I'm just a single guy and just a single guy with an online dating profile and this YouTube channel and besides this I'm utterly alone. So I think that's probably another reason why this book spoke to me so much. Anyway, uh, so my favourite book of the last two years is The Course of Love by Alain de Baton. Now, uh, out of interest, this is something I do every two years. I just keep a track of all the books that I read, and then every two years I declare to you on my blog what my favourite book was of that period. So let's go back over some of my past favourites. Back in 2010, my favourite book was Blankets by Craig Thompson. That's actually a graphic novel very similar to This One Summer by the Tamaki Cousins that I mentioned in this book review. Uh, back in 2011, I really liked the book Ishmael by Daniel Quinn, which actually has some similarities to The Course of Love in the way that it's written, except that book is about humankind's relationship with the environment. Back in 2012, I really enjoyed the book A Small Book About Drugs by Australian writer Lisa Pryor, which was really influential to me when I was doing my two comics about drugs. Back in 2014, I liked the book Feral by George Monbiot the best. That was a book about uh, rewilding ecosystems, as well as the way that George rewilded his own lifestyle. And now, my favourite book that I read in 2016 is The Course of Love by Alain de Baton. So there we go. Obviously, I really highly recommend all of those books. If you'd like to buy them and maybe give me a little kickback for recommending them to you, in the description for this YouTube video, I've got some links where you can buy the books from the book depository. And if you use those particular URLs, then I'll get a little kickback for being the referrer that pointed you to that website. Anyway, thanks for watching, happy reading, and I'll see you next time.